My name is Matthew Adams. I'm a solution architect here at Elastic and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Kibana and one of the most recent additions to Kibana called Lens, which is a new way of creating visualizations. So here I've created a cluster. So this is Kibana. I've actually created this cluster inside Elastic Cloud. So a few clicks and I could create a, a new cluster in so three or four minutes. So here's my sort of fresh uh, Kibana. What I'm going to do is create a new space. So if you come up here, you can uh, hit Manage Spaces. So I'm going to create a space specifically for the work that I'm going to do. Um, spaces are a great way of segregating things like dashboards and visualizations um, for each team that needs to access them. So let me create a space. So I'm going to say Lens Space. I'm going to leave everything else. Obviously, there's quite a lot of options with spaces. You can even use security to, to lock down who can see which space. So I'm going to create that space now, which will take a second. I will need to change over to the new space. And it's going to load me up the new uh, Kibana space. Right, so that's all loaded. What I want to do is change a couple of settings. So. Um, I'm going to come down to management and come to Kibana settings. I specifically like the dark mode in Kibana, so if I type dark in here, it's going to filter the settings that I have available. I can turn the dark mode theme on, hit save, reload my page, and that's going to give me the Kibana uh, dark mode theme. But obviously, it's up to your own preference at which one you prefer. So now we go back to the main screen in Kibana. There's various ways of getting data in quickly and easily. You can actually use an, an upload tool which you can drag and drop, things like CSV or log files. Um, there's also the sample data, which is the easiest. So we have sample data for some sample e-commerce orders, some sample flight records, and some web logs. So I can add all three of these. They come with data sets, but also um, dashboards, visualizations, canvas work pads, machine learning jobs, and maps. So that it's a really good way to explore the various bits of Kibana using the, these pre-built uh, sample data sets. So those have loaded now. You can see if you click on here, it's going to give you the options to see some of the, the pre-populated um, visualizations it's built for you. So if we come to the dashboard, for example, it's going to link us over to the dashboard section. This is the sample e-commerce dashboard uh, where you've got things like interactive filters. It's got pie charts, charts over time. So it's a nice way to understand um, what a good dashboard looks like. But what I wanted to do is quickly talk about how we can build a new visualization. If we come to the visualizations area, here's all the visualizations it's added to build that dashboard. Um, we can come to create a new visualization. This, this is all the standard ways of creating different visualizations for a dashboard, but Lens is the new uh, option. It's currently in beta, so we're still adding quite a lot of features to Lens, but it's a really nice thing to, to come and play with Lens and get a feel for it um, as it's being created. So if we hit Lens, really the idea with Lens is that you can drag and drop and quickly interact with the data sets that you have. So the first step is to select the data source or the index. So in this case, I'm using the e-commerce data. And what you can do with Lens is literally drag and drop fields into the middle. So the simplest one, for example, would be the number of records. If you drag and drop that, it's going to give you a count of records over time. And it's actually populating this configuration on the right-hand side. Um, then it's also going to give you options of how to change that. So if you wanted to display a metric rather than a, a bar chart, you can do that if you wanted to a line chart, a data table. But let's look at something a little bit more interesting than counter records. So we've got orders. So maybe we want to look at uh, sales. So let's look at price. If I type price in here, it's going to start um, populating all the fields to do with price. So if I take the tax full total price, let's take that, drop it into the middle. So this is now going to give us um, an idea of how that the um, orders, the price orders are changing over time. Here it's picked average for me because it has to pick a metric to use. 
average is not particularly useful for me so I want to maybe use sum so it's going to sum the orders together that's a bit more useful but what I might also want to do is to try and break this down um, so what you can do is if I take out price here we want to find a field that will give us some meaningful breakdown of that data that's typically a categorical field so if I hit filter by type we can select string here this is just going to show us the string fields which are typically categories so we've got the actual category of the products we could pick something like customer gender drag it into the middle it's going to intelligently work out that it should try and break uh, break down the numbers by that particular field and you can see it's uh, populated over here so top values of customer gender it's broken that down now maybe I want to display this as a table I can do that here I think maybe I want something a bit different so again there's more options in this drop down so I want to use a stacked area chart and I think I'm pretty happy with that uh, as a visualization so if I come up here and hit save I'm gonna save this so um, hit save and now we can add this visualization to an existing dashboard so if I come back to dashboards here's the e-commerce dashboard that we saw before I can hit edit I can hit add if I search for you'll see here's the lens visualization we just created select it it's going to add that to the dashboard it's going to add it at the bottom so if I scroll down here here's the visualization we just built I'm going to drag this up to the top because I actually want it at the top of my I want it at the top of my dashboard so drag it all the way to the top I want it just under the filters let me drop it here but I want it a little bit more prominent because it's key information for me so I can drag it all the way across the width so in this way I've been able to sort of very quickly dig through some data pick a visualization I wanted add it to a dashboard so I hope you'll agree that that's a really nice way to sort of start interacting with the data and create visualizations that you find are useful so then you can then display them on a dashboard and share those with other teams so hopefully this has been useful and please um, try out Kibana try out Lens and start interacting with the data that you've got stored in Elasticsearch. Thank you.